Chris, how are you feeling about this this weekend opening game against Coventry Blaze here in Krakori? Yeah, it should be really good. I mean, feeling good, been training hard, so the team's looking good, so it should be a good game. What were you expecting from the game? It should be probably a, quite a physical game. I mean, Coventry is a pretty tough team to play, so it should be pretty physical, probably more physical than last week, but that's usually how they come and play, so that's what I sort of expect them. It's a club with a lot, to, a lot to prove. Last season they were kind of mid-table, but this year they might be up there at the top of the table. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they've pretty much signed a whole new team, a lot of new guys coming in, so they're obviously wanting to make a run for something. So it'll be a different team and should be a good team they're playing against as well. A couple of players they've got over the summer, uh, over the summer uh, Tendler from, from Hull and Rory Rollick from, from Dundee. What did you make of them last season? Both really good players. I mean, Rollick's probably one of the top team in the league and Tendler, I mean, scores goals for fun. He could be on short-handed or power play or even strength. So, I mean, really dangerous players, both of them. And they're, they're a team I was looking at the bookies' odds uh, this week and I think one, one bookies, I think it was Sky Bay, had, had them at um, third favourites to win the league. Do you think they could have a chance of winning the, the league this season? Probably, I think, yeah, they could do. They've made some good signings and they're always a good team. I mean, Coventry's always sort of there or thereabouts, so I think they've got a good chance, yeah. And looking at the Five Flyers team, what, what do you think our strengths are going to be this season? I think we've got some good goal scorers this year and just a hard working team. I think we'll get like into the dirty areas and work hard and grind things out, so good hard working team. Are you excited by the, the attacking possibilities that we've got in the team just now? Yeah, definitely. I think we've got a lot of good forwards, fast forwards and skillful guys as well, so definitely some good goal scorers in the team this year. And what have you made of the three new players that joined the club in the summer? They all look really good, I mean, great players. Good guys as well, which helps like in the room and stuff. Everybody just seems to f like get on really well, even though we've been together for a short period of time. So they're all good guys and good players. And how are they settling in? What, and what do you do, you do as a Scottish player or, or the other imports that were here last season to make them feel welcome? Just sort of show them around, like meet up with them at nights and stuff after practice. Like don't just sort of leave the rink and go home. Like maybe spend a bit of time together and go and do a bit of things and stuff like that, just to make them feel welcome. And yourself, how pleased are you to see so many imports come back and Scottish players as well come back to the team from last season's team? Well, that's really good. I mean, it's always easier when you've got a team that's like three quarters built already rather than a whole new team coming every year, which we've had in previous seasons here. So it makes a big difference them coming back and obviously they enjoyed it here. We had a good run last year and they want to continue that. So it's really good to see them all back. You must have really enjoyed playing in the, the playoff weekend last year. Yeah, it was good. A great experience. I mean, that's where every player wants to go and play. So at the end of the year everyone wants to make it to the playoffs so to get there and experience it was really good. And I was speaking to Kyle Horn a couple of weeks ago for the for the programme he's just so determined to, to make the, go that one step further and, and win the, the playoffs. Can, can we do that this season? Definitely I think so I mean when you've been there once and had a taste of it I think you want to next time you go there you want to go there and win it sort of thing to be to fall like as short as we did it was so close at the end and, I mean yeah it would be great to go back there and go the full, the full distance this time and I think we've got a good chance of doing it at the last. And particularly with the way, the, way the, the team played on Saturday with a 4-2 win over Allberg, do you think the team can kind of pick up where it left off last season? Definitely. I think like because we've got so many guys back for the last year and then just like the three new additions, obviously helping a lot as well. So the guys, everybody knows each other, there's not so much settling in time, so like we should really take off where we left last season. And yourself, you got a bit of ice time on, on the Sunday past there against Allberg. Do you hope to get a lot more ice time this season? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've, it was tough last year not playing as much as I wanted to near the end, but worked hard over the summer and been training hard so far so hopefully it pays off and I see more ice time this year I'd definitely like to. As, as, a, as a, a person that's a, kind of part time with the club you've got a full time job as well how hard is it to try and balance both both the job uh, you've got full time and the, the part time kind of role you play at Five Flyers? It is difficult I mean it takes up a lot of your personal time during the summer but it's a commitment you've got to make if you want to play at this level I mean you've just one of the things you've got to do you've got to sacrifice some things and just work go to the gym after work and like do things later on in the night when you wish to do it sort of in midday or whatever but it's just something you've got to do if you want to be here you've got to do it so how much do you do you love ice hockey oh, i mean i don't know what i would do if i wasn't playing hockey so i've done it for so long and i mean it means a lot to me so yeah the, just, i love the game and it's great just to be here and enjoy it cool just just finally chris a uh, big crowd hopefully for for saturday how much how much th does that do you guys feed off the crowd if it's a big crowd that turns up th this weekend it makes a huge difference. I mean, if the crowd's loud and sort of, as they usually are here, it makes a huge difference. It gets everybody up for the game and like people like if there is low points in the game, if the crowd bring like sort of 
get you through that as well. So it helps a lot of the better, really, to be honest. Cheers, Wando. Thank you.